Hi everybody, I wanted to come and do a short update because I am day three post-surgery. Surgery happened on Friday for me and today is Monday. So I um, <clears throat> wanted to give a little bit of an update. So my surgery kind of going in, we Ryan and I had to be there at 5.30 Friday morning, which I was pretty excited about to be able to just like, let's go and, and get the show on the road. Um. <clears throat> But so I was thinking by four, five o'clock at the latest, I would be out and um, it did not happen that way. I was in surgery until about 8, 830 p.m. I remember them wheeling me from the OR into recovery and I kept looking at all these clocks that I was passing and they were analog clocks. And I kept thinking like, this medicine must have me not be able to tell time. Like, I must not be able to tell time. And then when they wheeled me into my little room, my doctor was there. And I said, Dr. Yu, what time is it? She said, okay, well, it's late. It's 8.30. And I said, a.m. or p.m.? Oh, of course, she said p.m. And it just, I mean, I, I think what just stuck out to me in that moment was what a long day that had been for my family. I know if I was sitting on the other side of kind of being the person waiting on the surgery a 13 hour wait feels like a really long time um they did a wonderful job my nurse Miss Cynthia kept Ryan updated just about every hour and that was really helpful to them but I know that come 6 30 7 7 30 8 um they got to wear on their nerves a little bit just being anxious but um thankfully we made it through and I was in a hospital room by about 10 o'clock that night and then out and in my car headed home by 10:30 the next morning it was a really um quick thankfully quick by the way transition um because there is no sleep in the hospital which is really what you want to do um UAMS is a, a teaching hospital and so there's a lot there's a lot of just regular um, people in and out, but then they come with a, a crowd, and it's really fun to watch and, and watch them teach and the students learn and, and do some of that, but um, I didn't get a lot of sleep that night, and so when I got home on Saturday and hit the bed, I was exhausted and felt really, really uncomfortable. Um, looking back on it now, I think I probably, it just was 13 hours of anesthesia had been in my body, and I just feel like it had been a really long day for me because when I woke up Sunday morning, I felt great. I woke up at eight o'clock. I had a smile on my face. I was like, oh, okay. Um, my family was able to come over. My mom and my sisters, they washed my hair. Um, they hung out with Ryan and Deja and I, and we were just able to um, kind of have a normal visit on Sunday. And I felt really good. Um, today, I um, I'm kind of in that same place. My pain is really manageable. Um, the biggest discomfort for me are the drains. I have um, four drains that are kind of down here. Um, they, they come off the side of my um, chest. My sister-in-law gave me this fabulous pouch. This has made like, the it's the best thing for this surgery. It just carries my drains around. It has made it super easy. But that is very uncomfortable and it makes sleep a little bit hard because of the way that you um, have to lay. But otherwise, I was really pleased with um, kind of how the overall process and my overall body looks. I was really fearful that it was going to be kind of like a bloody stitched up mess. And it's really not the... Um, the surgery teams, both of my teams, Dr. Owachoa's team and Dr. Ewan's team did a beautiful job. And um, I do not have any sort of stitches. My um, incision is glued. And, oh, there's my husband. And my incision is glued. And so it, it just looks really, um, just a lot better than I was anticipating, which really felt positive for me. Additionally, gosh, I mean, so much love and support. I cannot begin to put into words how thankful I am to get to know 
some of the things that I know now about how cared about we are and how people, man, they're just in my corner and I just really appreciate that you guys have supported me and my family. So I'm doing well. I hope to check back in again soon. Um, Hope you guys have a good week.